Hey everybody, so part of the trip here, we're stopped off at a place that my kid likes a lot. Uh, ben really enjoys getting rocks from Papa, and it comes here. Now Carl, Wanick is his name, and he runs Sunday Lake Underground Rock Shop. We stopped by here earlier, picked up some things for him and my daughter, but Ben was doing some rock searching around my dad's property and came across a couple pieces, so he wanted to stop by Carl's shop, show him what he found, talk to him a little bit about it, and see if he can maybe trade or barter. But uh, I didn't want to damper that because he wants to try to barter and trade, and that teaches him something. He's 13, so why not do that? And Carl's a really nice guy. I also wanted to put a shout out for Carl and his rock shop. Um, if you're in the area, Sunday Lake in Wakefield, Wisconsin, you got to stop by at his place. Uh, call ahead, look it up online. If I've got a link or anything, I'll leave it down below with an address or a phone number and all that. But uh, stop over. Carl's a wealth of knowledge. He's been doing this for 40 or 50 years. And I don't think there's a rock he hasn't met and any type of mineral or crystal that he hasn't come across once in his life at least. So give him a shout. But I'm going to go inside and maybe take some photos or videos and we'll see how Benny's doing. Hey, there, Carl. Yeah, Benny was... Uh quite interested he saw this and he started looking around he's like hey I gotta take I want to go to Carl's and yeah this is it's a iron ore iron ore and there's little Jasper mixed into it uh, the quartz this it's is just a quartz. amazing the layers yep all the different layers of Th stuff this and... was formed before there was free oxygen on the earth wow it, it was put down by anaerobic iron fixing bacteria there's a mouthful for you. <laughs> I don't see you writing something. Yeah. This, this is close to three billion years old. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Does that mean is it, is it going home with us? Yeah. <laughs> Man. All right. These were formed when the glaciers wow. came over top of us. This is just amazing. Look how weird shape that is. Uh, lunch. <laughs> Looks like a planet. Yep. Hey Ben, looks like a planet or something. <laughs> I just bought all this stuff from Yeah. Oh yeah, really? You were the another rock hound? Yes. Uh oh. Yeah, from Montana. That's oh. A lot of cool stuff. That's where we're heading next. Yes, yeah, totally. Well I'm gonna walk through and take his leg off. So this is Carl's place here. I'll give you guys a little view of what he's got on the inside. Just some real pretty stuff here. Everything's broken down. He, he sits back and he writes a name of everything. He's got a dollar amount on each on the back of each one and you go through it. But just amazing. And some of the stuff he's come across as he was a kid. Hopefully the video will come out well. And you guys will see a lot of nice stuff. And maybe someone that's a rock hound themselves might be interested in swinging up. Again, it's a... Sunday Lake Underground Rock Shop, right there. And there's some information for everybody. Just beautiful. Yeah, we just boxed some of it up, actually. We're going to take it back with us. That's nice. That's a piece that he was talking when we came by earlier. Found a smaller piece. He's got a bigger piece. He went back. No, it's, it's got two parts. And, and you found it outside. Yeah, he found it out, on, out by his. Yeah. Pile. Yeah. I had to use a four-wheeler to haul it. I, I can hardly move it, so you I have to Corner. In the corner there? Down lower. Oh, down lower? Yeah. It has, so. that, it has that irony and then the gray. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you found, a, you found a good piece. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Look at that. And he's, he's got room for one more customer. Just pretty stuff here. Look at this. Real beautiful things here. I mean, this is just nice. So again, if you guys want to, if you're in the area, you got to stop by, give this place a shout. Again, it's all about small businesses, supporting local people, supporting people that, you know, are just they're doing what they love to do and to try to earn a couple of bucks just to survive. And that's what Carl's been doing here, so. You've got to change uh, Geneva Mine to Lake Giving. Look at that. Just beautiful. I mean, all these pieces in here, look at all this. It's really nice. So much. I'm not a big rock person, so I don't know much about any of this and how long it takes to develop some of it and its value and everything. But what I do know is is when things are pretty and if they're old, you know, he's got stuff from all over the place, even around the world, too. 
Well, we have lots of fossil. Oh, looks like a pile of poop. I'm sure it's not. Oh, it's just pretty. See, got all sorts of stuff here. Look at this. All half breed nuggets. All pretty yeah. nice. Are you in Otten County? The the picture is so hard with the lights, but that's the guy right there. See, that's the man. Although it's the lights <laughs> throwing us off here, but stop by Rock Carl's place. You got to stop at a rock shop if you ever up here. Again, Sunday Lake, Wakefield, Michigan. You got to step up here. Look him up first because in the wintertime he usually shuts down and he goes and vacations. He suns himself down in Cancun. And those are that's video and stuff we don't want to see. So Brazil. Yeah, Brazil. See, there you go, Brazil. So, but guys, that's awesome. So we're gonna take off and do some more things. We'll get back to you in a bit. Well, this is the day. Let me see here. Maybe uh, there we go. A little bit better. This is our last day. We are pooped. Didn't sleep very much last night. Got about three hours of sleep. <clears throat> And uh, now we're getting ready to pick up Papa and head on the road to Washington State. So by the time you guys see all this, we'll probably be home by then. And, and uh, well, we will be home by then. And I'll have an interesting uh, arrival because nobody knows Papa's coming with us. But it's going to be a long, long drive home, especially today. Today's going to be a rough one. About nine hour, ten hour drive. I'm on about three, four hours of sleep. And yay us, huh? But anyhow. Well, hopefully this video is going to edit okay and everything's going to work out well. Now we got a four-day drive back and we're going to take you guys along on that little adventure, see see the sights, hear the sounds, get to check out some of the things that we're going to check out, uh, hoping to see a, a really cool water park hotel in Missoula and uh, going to be staying overnight at my knife, knife mentor's house, so more of that to come, but uh, anyhow, thanks for stopping by, thanks for watching the channel, thanks for the support. And uh, let's get started. Well, we just made it through Remmer, Minnesota, and I just learned that that's the home of Bigfoot. Remmer, Minnesota, home of Bigfoot. All right, just figured I'd let you guys know. Okay, earlier we ran across Leech Lake and we just uh, left Walker, Minnesota. And as we're driving by, I saw this little fella and I told Benny we had to stop by and say hi. Look at that thing. <laughs> that is huge. That's one big fella, isn't it? Look at that guy. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's Paul Bunyan right there. And we are over at the uh, Memorial Park and uh, this was made here, and as it says, it says, in, memor in memory of all veterans who honorably served this nation, dedicated by Neil Todd, American Legion Post, 0363. So if 0363 has any members watching this YouTube channel, thumbs up to you all. Well, we made it. We made it the first half of our journey, or the first third of our journey. We're, let's see, we're in Valley City, I had to think for a second, Valley City, North Dakota, and we're at the America Inn, Lodge and Suites, hopefully the sun's probably blinding you guys there, well we made it, I uh, got about uh, three or four hours of sleep last night, got the bed around 1.30, was up a few times, got hit with a bad thunderstorm, woke me up a bit, of course the little man kept sleeping through the whole thing, got up at 6, got stuff going, headed on the road. Uh, and as you've seen, made a few little stops here and there, but otherwise, uh, uneventful trip. So we're going to go uh, get inside and get relaxed, maybe hit the pool and get a little dinner and go to bed early. And tomorrow we're going to leave Valley City and we're heading to Judith Gap, Montana. Hey, good morning, everybody. Well, it was not too bad of an evening. It was a uh, uh, good rest, good sleep, decent meal. But we're getting ready to head back on the road again and head out to uh, Judith Gap, Montana. And I'm going to hook up with a couple of special people. They opened up their house to us, so that's going to be interesting to see. And uh, that'll be a good thing. But we're over here at the American uh, Lounge or uh, Lodge and Suites. It was a good place. I just figured I'd do a shout out for them. Uh, you know, nice little hotel and everything. Turned out pretty good. 
this bar behind us, Bridges Bar and Grill. Um, Wishy-washy on that one. Um, it's nice inside. Uh, the you know the staff was busting their hump, moving as fast as they could. They're short-handed. Uh, they have help wanted signs out there, and we've been seeing it a lot lately. I don't see how people can complain about not having to having work or finding work. And I've traveled from Washington State to the Upper Peninsula, of Michigan, and I'm coming back again. And everywhere I turn, there's help wanted signs, everywhere. So there's work. People can uh, go out there and do something in all different types of towns. It doesn't seem like it's just Walmart or just a Menards or a Home Depot or a Bridges Bar and Grill. It's uh, pretty much whatever you want to do, you can do. It's just, it's that urge to want to do it. I wanted to come out here and catch some fresh air real quick, a uh, break in the rain. It's supposed to start raining some more and it's got a nice cool for our drive. But I wanted to share a little bit of a sunrise with you too. So I'm going to turn you over to the sunrise and let you guys watch this for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. 